Hey all you meatheads out there, welcome back to the Tech It playthrough. I love gold, LLC, and we are back standing in front of the sorting machine air quote. <laughs> so I read through your comments, I got a lot of comments, okay? Some people were saying I was on the right track with color coding and color coding the filters. Um, there were a couple mistakes that I caught after the episode. I did catch that this was not gray it was supposed to be light gray so that was one issue there with the iron so I just went ahead and changed it to pink and there's no misunderstanding pink um, the other thing was that some people said put a buffer in here well I don't I don't know I haven't tried the buffer yet uh, I do I did accidentally make that buffer that one time right here <laughs> so I do have a buffer in my in my stock in my inventory um, so what I went ahead and did was I color coded the piping right and then I color coded the filters each one and I also put the item in the filter as well to try and prevent a backflow this was the main problem right so each filter is color coded and has the item inside it now all right the other end, I also upgraded the chests to crystal chests. I put in these here. These are restriction tubes, but I don't think that that's the right use for them. Um, I thought that it might restrict it going down this way, but I, I it's not. I don't think it's really doing anything. I think you're supposed to use those for something else, but they kind of look cool, and they're. I don't think they're going to affect what we're doing. Now, here's the next problem. All right, the next issue is basically. I have created a sorting machine right here. I don't need this sorting machine because I have color coded individual with these filters and these color codes and color coding at the end of the tubes up there. I've made my own sorting machine, right, manually. Now, I don't need this anymore. I don't really need this sorting machine here because they're, they're being sorted here by color and when they get to the other end, they're gonna go to the matching color. This sorting machine would probably be better suited to be pulling out of a chest full of random items, then going and color coding those random items into other areas. So this would have probably been a lot more useful earlier on when we were bringing in stuff from the quarry. Then I could have color coded, I could have brought stuff into the quarry from the quarry to a chest, pulled out of the chest and in through the sorting machine got the ingots that I want, put some miscellaneous stuff in here to another color and routed those another way, kind of like what we did here, right? We we manually sorted these. See, this was sorted into here and also here with the diamond filters, right? The diamond pipe filter, and we sorted things that way. So here I've, <laughs> you know, not on purpose, but I've built a, my own manual sorting machine. Um, I also added this timer to increase the ticks, right? I went down to 700, uh, 750 milliseconds. So this one here is still set to two seconds, I believe. Yep, two seconds. I thought maybe I'd get the sorting machine working faster. So if we flip that on, that's working faster. If we flip this bad boy on. All right, so here we go. Some are going, all right, so they're, see, they're color-coded as they come out, and they're color-coded as they go through. So what that's telling me is I, I don't need this sorting machine. I mean, this, this sorting machine right here. Don't really need it anymore. I think what we'll do, but look, you can tell that the stuff is not, not bouncing back in where it's not supposed to. Only the proper colors are going, bouncing back and forth, basically, that they're, they're hitting the sorting machine and it's not ready for it. So... In this case, we're not going to use this sorting machine with this machine. We're going to use the sorting machine with something else. We'll have to figure out what else because I'm not going to run another quarry because we, you know, we can dupe all of our items now with the condensers, right? We can just dupe that. So there's no reason for a quarry and the quarries are a little bit intensive on the system, I think. So once this runs through, I'm going to let this run its course, get this all cleared out of here. So push these things through. So it's just it's acting as like almost like a a choke point now because they're they're color coded already. So let's get rid of this. All right, we got rid of that. Now we need to get ourselves some tubing. Uh, get ourselves some tube. 
let's just connect this here. Uh, I don't have to really mess with this right now. All right, now, since that's the case, let's try this. Let's see if this actually works. Like I think it should. Everything should come out color coded. Now you see it's not being restricted by the sorting machine. I've accidentally built my own manual sorter. Now look at all those colors go up there. They are all ready to go and we'll give it a second to for them to head up there. Nothing's bouncing back yet. I mean obviously once the chests get filled up up top or when these things run low on their items, but I am only pulling out one item at a time now instead of a block of 64, which that that kind of regulates it a little bit more. You know, instead of some machines, you want to yank out a whole block of a uh, stack of 64. In this case, I like to see I like to see the pipe like it flowing through here like this. I love that animation. So why not pull out one at a time like that and and keep the animation flowing? So now if we fly up top here real quick, look at all those colors in there. Now there they go, all the way down to their end. There's pink dropping down in there. There's the gold. There's the tin. Oops. There's the silver with the green. Here comes the red, which is our copper. And all the way at the end with our orange is our bronze. You can see, so it's it's sorting itself. I made my own sorting mach machine. And again, it wasn't on purpose. I think that I probably built the sorting machine a little bit late. You know, late to where now that I have all these filters and the new pneumatic tubing and stuff. Um, it's not really needed for this particular application, but it will be useful somewhere else. So, I mean, it was pretty helpful, the comments you guys made, but as I started looking at the thing going, wait a minute, now I'm color coding this stuff into a machine that's supposed to color code it and send it to a, a destination. I've already done that. But I mean, that looks pretty cool. It looks like one of those, those candy things with the rope in the middle. <laughs> What are those things called? Or it looks like a pack of Twizzlers, or not Twizzlers, uh, what are those, those little sweet tart things? I can't think of it. All right, well, let's look at something else here. What is this? Why do I have iron here? Could have used this iron. Huh, that's like the machine like I did over there, a, a little condenser just sitting here so you can condense stuff. But if, let's take, for example, this chest here. Or no, that's not... We're going we're gonna to take a chest. Oh, we got a chest down here. Let's just do a quick quick example here. All right, so we got a chest here, right? Now, if we had a bunch of random items in here uh, from coming in from a quarry, like all different, all different ones of these blocks and stuff coming in here, well, then we would put the sorting machine down, right? We would put the sorting machine down, and then we would turn it, we would turn it to the direction we need. See, like that, right? And then we would color code certain items. Say we would color code the the raw form of these resources, right? And we would color code those. Or we would route the stuff through a macerator and then bring, bring in the random uh, ingots into here. Then we would pull the ingots out and route them to their destination like that's doing over there. As well as we would have some, say, coal, uh, dirt, um, stone, things like that in here. Well, we would put one, a special one, and put a bunch of random stuff here and color code that to go to a miscellaneous chest for us. So that's where we could actually utilize this, this sorting machine better. But as it stands right now, the way for this particular one, we don't need the actual block that is a sorting machine. We just built our own. We built a manual one. So I think it's pretty cool. It worked out worked out pretty good. It's all working good. The sol I, let's check on the solar machine while we're in here. Mm-hmm. Alright, we're doing look at that. It's we're doing pretty good with the solar panels. We are doing pretty good. Get this thing filled up and we'll make a bunch of the the really high voltage ones. Maybe we'll put them on the roof for the farm. Maybe, you know what else? <clears throat> we should go outside, all right? You guys have, have, a lot of you guys have watched all these episodes. We're up in the mid to high 70s now on these episodes. And we never actually looked around this place, right? We never looked any farther than where we came to this location here. Let's go, let's go over this way. Let's look and see what's over here. 
I just want to get an idea. I'll, I'll show you about as far as we went out. You know, we, we looked for an area for the power plant. The quarry's spawn was over that direction. We'll go ahead and just sail on through. So we've got a giant desert here. Nice river. There's our quarries there. All right. Let's see if there's anything cool over here. You know what would be cool would be a giant volcano. I actually have another world that I was going to be doing. Here's a small one. What noise? What the heck's that noise? So here's... We got a mi uh, two small volcanoes here. What is that noise? All that noise happening. Hey, I'm on fire. So look at that. There's a little volcano there in the middle of water. That's pretty cool. A little one here. I don't know how far down this actually goes. Probably goes down pretty far. So a couple little... Little, those are still small volcanoes. I actually saw one that goes up a couple, probably 150 blocks or so. Yeah, it was pretty cool looking. So we got a snow biome going on, jungle. It'd be crazy if we just found something really, really cool not far away. Things make a noise like as it's as it's generating in more. Maybe it doesn't like me flying like this. Get onto some flat ground up here. You see it's a little bit glitchy. A little bit glitchy. It's a pretty big jungle right here. I must say so myself. That's semi-annoying. The noise. Wow, this It's a big j I wonder if this world is a um one of those large biome ones, because this jungle is huge. Alright, so is this the other side of that same desert? Let me get down the ground, let this thing render in a little bit. Oh, speed run! This is the way to get through the desert. Look at this. Launch! Freeze! Oh, there's a volcano, something over here. Oh, it's another flat one. There are so many of these flat volcanoes in this world. Ouch. Did I, la I just think I just landed on a cactus back there. That's gonna leave a mark. Look how big, look at this though. Look how wide the base of this volcano is. This one would be awesome if it would have went way up in the air. Huh. Why is the daylight coming out? I'm trying to cruise around and look at things. Not another jungle. I don't want to see another jungle. Because we literally spawned into this world and started walking around and looking for a decent place to to put things. And it was like, uh, you know, 150 blocks, 200 blocks away. And we found the area where we started to build. So it's pretty cool. Huh. Boing. Boing. Oh, no, boing. Get away from me, creeper. What is that? Is that oil? Ooh, oil. It's a pretty good amount of oil, huh? Does this go down? I think that these these spouts, if you find the main spout... Is this the main sp No. This is the main spout. Oh, look at this. It goes down pretty far. Hey, is my... I thought I had, like, good respiration with this. Don't I have really good respiration with this thing? Hmm. I want to go down in here. See how far down we this thing is. So we're down to... Is this all oil in here? Huh. Where's that hole at? Wait, did my thing recovered? You see that? It's like recovering. It the it goes down and then it recovers. So this goes down to 18 if this is all... I don't know if you guys can even see, but I, I think I'm down in the oil. It goes down to level 18 up to... 60, 70. So there, there's a fair amount of oil right there. You can make a little oil... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Just as I thought. Wow, this is a big village. 
We found a village. Hey. Hey, get away from that door. Yeah, that's what I thought. Get away from that door. Pretty big village right here. Hey, dude. There's a villager in there. Wow. You know what these guys could use is some torches. It's really dark. What is the deal? Why is it not? Why is the sun not coming up? Why is the sun not coming up? That's all I would like to know. All right, so put some torches along here for these guys. It's a decent little village, huh? Right on the waterfront, got a little jungle next to them. Oh, that's what we could make now. Look, we have a, an actual desk. Dude, who's down here? Hey, you wanna get away from that door? Yeah, 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 I'm pushing you back. Get owned. We have a destination for our uh, super speed rail, right? The rail line that we were talking about doing? Some light in here. You guys are all living in the dark ages. You guys need to keep the mobs away. Hey, dude, seriously, I'm right here. Hey, hey. Get one-shotted. That's all I gotta say about that. You guys can't get me. I've got the ring on. And I've got my little tiny sword in my hand. This this right here could be a destination because straight back that way is the LLC. This could be a destination for the rail line, high speed rail. You know what I mean? It's a pretty good location too. Wow, it goes way down here, this little little house down here. Look at that. I like that. I like that a lot. What else? You guys got any good resources around here? Any good resources? Boing. Pew. Pew. Boing. This would be awesome if you could jump like this in normal Minecraft. I'd be jumping all over the place. All the time. So they've got their own little geothermal source here. Even though it's kind of... Kind of short. Ooh. Well, that's pretty cool. You know what? I'm, I think that's what we'll start to do. I think the next thing we'll do is we'll work outside a bit now. We've been inside. We've been building a lot of machines inside. Have any of you guys uh, used the Railcraft stuff? I don't know. I, I don't know about um, if anyone's worked with the Railcraft stuff much, but I want to try and see what we can do. Remember those those rail, like the, what was it? Um... Wait. There was like high speed train boarding track, trail train holding track, detector for a train, train dispenser. There's all kinds of crazy stuff. Training dummy. <laughs> a training dummy. But they had the high speed rail, like a bullet train. We could do a bullet train. Oops. I have to mark where this is at. the um, waypoint add village all right oops there we go the village now we got a um, a waypoint here that we can find our way back but we can we can set up a nice high speed rail through here also why not set up a little refinery for these guys with this oil and we'll make a, we'll give them a little refinery right here. Like, wow, look at this. It's like got its own pad and everything. We'll set up an oil refinery right here with a high speed rail going from the LLC building over to this village. Village. Sound like a plan? Sound like a plan, Stan? All right, we'll get working on that in the next episode. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the informative comments with in regards to the sorting machine. I think we sorted it out. <laughs> you get it sorted? Yeah, never mind. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next episode of Tech It. I love gold, and we'll get into some train building. All right, later, guys.